Hello, this is Ben Ryder from the Academy of Gaming, Film and Animation, and today what we're looking at is how we can get some of these uh, animations that we have created here in Maya uh, and get them into Unreal here. So that, as you can see here, we play those animations, we can see them just sort of going across there. And then in the next video, we're going to go look at, okay, how can we get them so that they play when a certain thing happens inside the actual game level. Now yours may not be as advanced as this. Uh, this takes a little bit of uh, work with widgets and everything else like that, but what I would expect in your final product is that you have a chest in there and some sort of trigger that allows us to see the chest rumble. So as you can see here, it's kind of got a little bit of a rumble there. And then an open and a close. I've gone the extra mile by having this little padlock in there. I don't expect everyone to do that. That's just a an what extra the sort of if thing. You're looking for a higher grade and have time within the timeline for submission. Yeah, uh, again, it. Yes, if required. if you if you had that, absolutely, definitely would be a grade. Um, or but not just a chance of a higher grade. Yes, yeah, absolutely. If you add in secondary options and things like that, that would definitely be attracting a higher grade. But for the most part, what we're looking at is, can you get these animations from Maya that you've made into Unreal and have some kind of game trigger? It could be something as simple as you just press a button and it works. Um, or it could be your character walks up to the chest and it opens. Okay, but we want to see those three animations in there somewhere because that then gives us a chance to look at things like, okay, how would you use that sort of rumble in there to sort of make it so that your character can't open the chest unless it's been unlocked. Okay, so that's what we're going to go through. This first video though is just going to be going through, okay, I've exported these out. How do I get them into Unreal and make them all work together? Okay, um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder here called Chess 2. I would recommend, if you are in Unreal, to make a folder for your objects to go into to keep them all together. Because otherwise you get a lot of things spread out, can make things quite difficult. Um, in here, I've got my little rumble animation here, it's not great. But I'm going to go out, export selection, going to make sure I've got FBX here. I'm going to call this chest 4, because I've done this a few times already, rumble. I'm going to make sure animation is checked. Make sure I'm going all the way to the end of the frames there. And go export selection. It's going to say a few things here and everything, but that's fine. I'm going to go over to where my Maya file has been set, and again, just like in Unreal, we want to keep everything together, so make sure that is there. And I can see chest for rumble. Before I go into Unreal, I want to check it to make sure it works. So I'm going to right click, open with, and go with FBX review. And as I can see in here, I press play, and there it is. So that's all I should be doing is getting all of those animations out. I have the uh, other animations here of open and close. Now, one thing I will advise is if you have one rig, use that rig for all three animations. I could make a mistake here and then just try and mix and match with some of the ones I created with the uh, rig that didn't have these constraints in, um, and it will cause issues. Unreal expects it to be the same skeleton, so you may have made, for example, the first open and close animation, uh, and then try to do another animation on top of it, it will cause some issues there, okay? So make sure it's all the same skeleton when you're doing it. To the point where I'm actually just gonna quickly animate just an open and close, not a very good one, but just one, so we keep the consistent skeleton, because I have made changes on this to get that rumble working. So I'll save that one, and save another one called open four. I'm going to quickly animate this in. Open that up. To here. Cool. Gonna get rid of all of these other rumble parts. 
ですね。Just select that. Export selection. Just for open. And then I'm going to grab this last frame here and go copy, delete, paste, so I know it's in the exact same position, and then put that one there closed. Now again, with more time, I do the secondary motion. And part of the grade will be on just making sure you do that secondary motion, so don't rush the animations. Um, but that is there. We can then export that out. Just for close. So now that I know that those animations are all there, and I'm just going to check FBX review. Cool, that's a close. I'm checking to make sure they're also facing the right way. So the last thing you want to do is bring it into Unreal and then find out that the front is the wrong way around. So now that I have all those three, I can now start looking at how to bring them into Unreal. So I go back into Unreal here. I've got my chest two. And I'm going to bring in just the rumble one first. So left click and drag and bring it in. That will bring up this window here. You want to make sure skeletal mesh is checked and import mesh is checked for this first one. We don't have to import a mesh every single time we go through the other animations, but for this first one, we want it there. I'm also going to go down to import animations, make sure that's there. And I'm also going to go down to import uniform scale. It's important to remember that in Maya, we're dealing with centimeters, so this is going to come out really small, unless I, you know, multiply it by a certain number. You can go 20, in this case I'm going to go 50 just to make sure it's extra large there. Comes in. These errors here, they're fine. You normally get them with FBXs, so don't stress. If you see ones with long lists of bones, then that's the time to stress and start looking at things. And normally it means that you've either selected the mesh, um, but not the entire bone structure. So make sure when you are exporting out from Maya, that you do select everything in the bone structure, not just the mesh. So here we go, it's all in here now. And if I double click on this, I can see, yep, the animation is there. The materials haven't quite come through yet. There could be a number of reasons behind that, but all I have to do is just rebuild that here inside of Unreal. Um, we've done that a few times before, so I'm not going to lose too much time to that, but it should just be a case of going in here, grabbing these, dragging them in here. If it's and then just applying them one by one in there. So if I this up, color into there, metallic into there, normal into here and roughness into there. We save and then chest mat one should appear there and then we should have our textures on our animation. And if we go into here we can now start looking and yep there it is. Again, I would have to change a few things here just to, on that animation to get that working just right. It does, aha, uh -huh, yes. I have put on the lock animation because, dumb.
as you can see, that is in there. The animation is there. So when we come to bringing in our other animations, these are the ones that we did the open and the close, we don't actually have to do as much. All we have to do is left click and drag this in. And instead of checking import mesh, you uncheck that and then you check to see if you can find your skeleton in there. Once that's in there, you then just need to make sure that import animation length is there yes. and then go import. And as you can see, that's there. And then last, we'll just do the close and uncheck import mesh and import there. And those are there as well. There's the close, there's the open, and there's the rumble. So we're just going to fix up this one here because in there, there it is. Now if we save that, that should restore our materials down to there. So again, if you see anything wrong with your um, animation, make sure that you have that skeleton selected when you go to export selection rather than just the joints or the constraints or just the mesh. Um, make sure you have all three um, of your Maya file files saved there, one for open, one for close and one for um, rumble. And then also make sure that you have those separate FBXs and you've brought them into here. So if that chess mat is there, now you can see the animation is there and the material is on there as well. So as I said before, in the next video, we'll go through uh, exactly how you can get in and set up animations, whether that be with widgets or with the character um, approaching. We'll do a simple character approach and then we'll look at more complicated ones from there. But I just want everyone to get to that point where they have that animation in there. If you want to see what it looks like in real time, you can actually just bring it in and when you play the animation or play the game, you'll notice that that will actually just be playing on loop. And it can be a good way of just making sure that everything is happening correctly. Um, and you don't have anything like handles just flying off into the distance or anything like that. So I'll give you a chance to do that, and then when we come back, we'll look at how we can set up some simple blueprints.